Let's do a haul. I am back. <laughs> Busy day filming today. I went to, I don't know why I'm grabbing that. I gotta tell you what I spent. I spent $264.71 yesterday for 32 items. My average cost is $8.27. We are starting early and that's too high. And I know what made my cost go up because I redid the math and it would have been $7.27 if I wouldn't have bought one item that I should not have bought. And I knew I shouldn't have bought it, but I did it anyway. It's not this one. This is the coolest thing I found yesterday. Actually, it's not. It's not the most valuable thing I found yesterday, but it's the coolest. Yeah, that's what we're gonna go with. It's all, also not the coolest. Look at this. Look at this. Look at it. Look how cool this is. It's very detailed. Now, what is it, you ask? It's a pillow cover, strangely enough. It's like a square pillow cover. Look how cool this thing is. I love this. I have no idea what it's gonna sell for. I don't care, because I am in love with it. And it's in perfect condition. There are no issues with it. It looks like somebody bought it and it never got used. I don't know how I'm gonna take pictures of it. I gotta take it outside and do it. But, you know what, here we are. <laughs> I paid $9.99 for it and I'm in love with it. I'm absolutely, in look at this detail, look at this. It is so beautiful. Can y'all tell I'm in love? I'm absolutely in love, it's gorgeous. So pretty, no way I was not getting that. No freaking way. It doesn't have any tags. I did search for tags and it didn't have any. So, didn't care, still getting it. <laughs> Even at $10, I was still getting it. I do have a couple things in here for me. I'll take those out, like this. It's probably for me, it might be for my mom. It's cute, I love Soma. Soma sleepwear is so comfortable. Their bras are very comfortable too. I'm gonna try this on, it should fit. It's just a little nighty. It's new with tags. Original price of 46 bucks. And it cost me $6.99. So let's put that in a pile over here for keeps. I think I only got, oh no, I got three items yesterday. I was about to say I only got one or two, but I got three. <laughs> Shopping for myself. I saw this last week and I didn't get it. And I decided to get it this time. I don't know why. Um, $6.99. So it's a Halston dress. Let's put it on a hanger. And it's not. So Halston, if it's H by Halston, or let's see, I'll show you the tag. So regular Halston can sell for a bit. If it says Halston and then there's a H, single H with the Halston, like on top or underneath, don't grab that. Terrible, does horrible. This is new with tags. So that's why I ended up deciding to go ahead and get it. Size six, new with tags, Halston. Very cute dress, very, very cute little dress. So hopefully it does okay. I don't expect a ton of money for it, but I do expect that I can get more than $30 for it. So that's, that's all I'm hoping for in this life. Y'all know that. I don't even remember this one just as much a surprise as for you as it is for me. Oh, it's Sundance. Oh, this is cute. Yeah, I remember this now. There's a cute dress that was right next to it too. It was probably somebody's. It is extra small, unfortunately, but I was not passing this up. Look how cute this little dress is. Isn't that adorable? Yes, it is. Very cute little, very in style dress. That will do just fine. Did I say how much I paid for it? $6.99. Green was the color of the week. Most of this stuff's gonna be green. I very rarely do I find the half price items. I usually find the new stuff. This is a Bowden? Is it Bowden? What is this? It's Bowden. <laughs> I left behind a Bowden, but I like the print on this one. This one's a size two. Tiny, tiny sizes, probably the same person. $6.99, but love this. Beautiful, large, like mod, almost like Mary Mecco print. Really love that one. So cute for all the blues. Hope that zipper works. 
Let's see. Oop. Yep, it works. And there's your tag. Bowden, also a small size. Sometimes that happens. I don't find that small sizes sit all that much longer. Of course, they have the chance to, but I actually, back to Halston, Halston Heritage can do very, very well. And I actually left a Halston Heritage pair of just regular old pants behind. I should have looked them up. What was I doing? I don't know. Oh well, I'll probably see them next week. If I don't, moving on. CP Shades, I love this brand. I have never found CP Shades that isn't linen. So this will be interesting. It's a velvet dress. I have also never found CP Shades to sit very long. So CP say CP C <laughs> is also a tongue twister. CP Shades does not sit. So oh, this one's got silk in it. Fancy, 20% silk, this velvet. And CP Shades, if you don't see the size, I don't think the size is ever here. It's right there on the tag, so. Cute though, and this one's a large, so I did get lucky with that. And this is from last week, so. I missed out on somebody's nice wardrobe. <laughs> $6.99 for that one. That should sell really well, I hope. That's all that's in that bag, that was quick. This is gonna be a quick haul, honestly. Yeah, I did find enough. Found more than I usually do, so. Next, ooh, a bolo. This is a bolo. So I knew about this because when I was going to the bins, I would come across a lot of Tommy Bahama shirts. So I looked up Tommy Bahama shirts and then sorted by highest priced, by solds, highest priced, and learned that Tommy Bahama Disney Parks does very well. This is a hundred dollar shirt. Yep, I know, crazy, right? Look, see, it's got Mickey. There are some Tommy Bahama Disney Park shirts that, not this tonal one, but like have a good Hawaiian print all over them with the characters. They can sell for two, three, four hundred dollars. Yeah, go look at those solds. It's insane. But this one does sell fast, which is great. I did pay nine ninety nine for it. And I'm just like super happy about finding it. <laughs> Huge bolo, very happy about finding it. That is the bolo for the day. I don't think I found anything else that's that high of value. Everything else is just very bread and butter, very $30 or more, you know. But so, so, so happy <laughs> about finding that one. I actually made a noise when I found it. Hope nobody was around and heard me. I think I made a little squeaky noise when I saw it. <laughs> Cause I honestly didn't think I'd ever find that, you know, it's not something that I thought that I'd find ever. So it was really cool to find it. So I'm really happy. Love when that happens. This brand is hard to look up because of the name of the brand, but I do know that it does well because I bought it before and it sold really fast and for a good price. Paid $4.99 for this pair of banded, good size too, 42, 32, banded. These are probably gonna be a $30 pair of pants. I could be wrong. These might be a $20 pair of pants. They might be a $60 pair of pants. I haven't looked them up. I need to look them up. But they're just like the nylon type. This is usually a hunting brand. Um, nylon type outdoor type pants. You know, just your standard outdoorsy type pants, but I do know that the brand sells well, so definitely picked them up. But like I said, they're kind of hard to, to look up, so I just went with it and we'll see what happens. I think they'll be okay though. Same goes for this one. Y'all, if you find this brand in leather jackets, because I looked up later on after I left, I looked up Lauren Ralph Lauren um, Moho jackets in leather. Oh my goodness gracious, they do so well. But I picked this up, I probably won't list this right now. This will probably go to the back of the rack because it's a winter item and I'll wait on it. It was $4.99, so I don't mind picking up, y'all know this, stuff that could do well later. This is not leather. This is, you know, like a faux type leather, but it's got the Sherpa lining, really cute jacket. So I think it'll do just fine. It is just a small, unfortunately, but oh well. 
I'm not scared of picking up those small brands. Y'all know that. Especially if it's going to be an item. I mean, if it's like a really, really bread and butter item, I won't pick it up. But small sizes, getting nice stuff. I don't find that it really matters that much. Here's another winter item that we'll have to wait. This one is also a small. But you wonder if it's the right same person. Paid $4.99 for this. This is a Theory 100% cashmere sweater. So, of course, I picked that up. Anytime it's a good brand in cashmere, I'm going to pick it up. I'm not going to pass that up. I just realized I don't have my microphones on. <laughs> I just saw them sitting here. I'm so sorry, y'all. Luckily, it's not as bad whenever I do these videos, but let's turn them on. How about that? How about that? We could do that. I don't know if it'll even work mid-video, but we'll find out. Are we going to pair? Let's pair. Come on. Let's do this. Why not? We don't need to. There we go. Sorry, y'all. I'm a professional. I promise y'all. I really, really am. Hey, look at that. You can hear me now. Some Lily Pulitzer shorts. Of course, I'm going to pick these up. I love that Lily always has the name of the short on it. it makes it easier. I don't see a lot of Lily Polish shirts, shorts. I mean, I don't, I mean, I look through shorts, but I don't look through them like thoroughly, I guess. I just go real quick, look at the new colors. So I look for the red. Yesterday I was looking for red and green tags. Red was last week, green's this week. I go midweek. So I look for the red and the green. Look how cute these are. Like a little pineapple print, a little um, Bermuda type thing, Palm Beach fit. They're size 10 too, which is a great size. So, but basically I go through the shorts very quickly. I look through the skirts very quickly, not being thorough with them and looking for Lily, honestly, Lily and Lulu. <laughs> Those two good brands that I want to see. Oh, I didn't remember picking these up either. I came across someone's whole collection of can can jeans. I did not pick all of them up. I picked up the special ones. So I picked up this pair. Six ninety nine because the jeans are a little more expensive. So, you know. Who knows why I do the things when I do them. But these were cute. And they had the raw hem, which is pretty popular. But otherwise, they are skinny. So and that's why I didn't pick the other ones up. Because they were skinny. So they needed to have a little bit of specialness to them for me to pick them up. And none of them were new tags. They wouldn't have been new tags. I would have picked them up even if they were skinny. But they do have the exposed button fly also, which is a pretty popular feature in jeans. Is that everything? Nope, that's not everything. For oh, these were good. I remember these now. I love how I don't remember anything. It's just as much a surprise for you as it is for me. <laughs> okay, I did not look these up either. It seems to be the theme for the day. These were $5.99. From last week they are athleta athleta but what i did do even though i didn't look them up what i did do is i went straight to these tags real quickly and i looked at the date and the date on these are fall 22. so these are what three months old three three months old three quarters old so yeah i picked these up <laughs> they are new new style new style athleta always does well so i i have not had a problem moving new style athleta at all so i will continue to do that until it falters <laughs> it probably will sooner or later right okay the pillow cover is my favorite item of the day but my second favorite item is this this is too much fun and i looked up the dress and it might not sell for 30. <laughs> i didn't care and i actually looked it up i looked the brand up $6.99 for this dress. Did not care. It was coming home with me no matter what because I am in love and I don't care. And it's actually got the, I wouldn't say that's new without tags. It's a size six. It's Lindy Bop. Lindy Bop, which doesn't matter, but it is awesome is what it is. Look at this dress. It's got pterodactyls on it. It's got pterodactyls on it. And it's got like this woman thing going on <laughs> I don't know what that is <laughs> but <laughs> come on 
how am I not going to pick this dress up? Are you kidding me? Yeah, that's coming home with me. There's no dang way I would leave that. This is from the second store. I actually did better at the second store than I did the first. I got lucky in the dresses. So the dress section is usually like really, really packed, like really full, and it's really hard to go through. And I kind of just ignore it sometimes because it's just, ugh. It's too much sometimes. And then sometimes I'll go through the whole thing. Well, there was a worker there cleaning the dresses out, getting rid of, all, I guess the manager said, um, these dresses are too packed in. So I got lucky. She had just finished cleaning them out. So I went through every single dress. So, because it was actually easy to go through for once. Paid $6.99 for this one. Cute little embroidery sequined dress. And I was shocked when I looked at the comps for this one. The name is Rose and Rose. I've never heard of it before. And I had to do, you can do quotation marks. In eBay, eBay, you can do the bullying searches. So I did quotation marks around Rose and Rose and then dress. And that was how I could find the actual, um, that's just a hint. I could have done that with the painted, the banded pants too. So what that does is it brings up the term rows and rows together. Instead of finding a bunch of um, search results that is just dress rows and <laughs> all three of those words in there, the rows and rows has to be together. So you get a better search result and you can actually see what your comps are. And the comps for these were great. Evidently it's a UK brand. A lot of UK seller, sellers on that one did matter. Even the US ones were good. So happy about that one. And another dress. <laughs> Told y'all a lot of dresses. I enjoyed being able to go through the dresses in there. This one's not buttoned up, but we're going to go with it. I will not be able to say the name of this brand at all. God Run. G U D R U N. And I cannot read the second part at all. But when I put in the G-U-D-R-U-N, the second part of the name came up. So it's somebody's name. It's somebody's um, very is it Swedish, Nordic name. So how much did I pay for this one? $6.99. And the comps were really impressive for these dresses, y'all. I'm talking like 40 50 bucks for these dresses. Great sell through, too. So very happy about that one. The Rose and Rose was the same thing. Very nice comps. Very, very nice comps. You know, my thinking is, even if you see comps everywhere, all over the place, 20s and stuff, if I see enough 40s and 50s, I'm going to get it. You know, I don't have to be that sure. I didn't look up the comps for this because I figure I'll keep it if, 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 the, the, say, if the comps aren't there, but it's probably, it's a size 12 too. <laughs> this will do just fine. <laughs> I won't be keeping this one. It's a size 12. I paid $6.99. It's a Lululemon shirt dress. Weird, right? Crazy. I've never seen a Lululemon shirt dress. I didn't even know that was a thing. So that's cool. And usually with Lululemon, if you find something that's weird and different with Lululemon, other than this, the tights and the, the bras or whatever, it usually does well. That's, it's almost a sure thing. If it's something really different, it's going to do well. This one has to be washed. I remember this one. This is a velvet by Spencer and Graham. This is not a brand I will always pick up, but I went with this one. I have sold some expensive velvet pieces before. Um, I did pick this one up though because of $6.99 of the style. I figure this is in style enough that that'll carry it through. So Velvet in, by Spencer and Graham can do really, really well sometimes. And then sometimes they're just like, it's not good at all. So it's one of those brands that's kind of all over the place. So it might be a mistake buy, who knows, but I'm going to go with it. I liked it. I thought it was a nice little dress and is it linen or cotton? Sometimes you can't tell. Where's that? feels like linen, but maybe it isn't. No, it's 100% linen. There you go. It's like a soft linen, though. It's not like that hard, that itchy linen. Took a chance on this one. What did you sell? Something just sold. I think that was Macari. 
Well, wonders never cease. I don't know if I can figure out how this goes. This is a Calvin Klein dress. Now, it is new with tags. I am not proficient in the Calvin Klein to know what sells and what doesn't sell. There are people that can do it. it I am not that person. This dress was a $9.99. It was originally $170. It's very cute. Love this little dress. It does have the ties with it, which is amazing. Terrible about not checking for that, but very cute little sequin dress. Um, I can say that with Calvin Klein, usually with the, the dressier stuff, I'm safe. But yeah, I'm definitely not the Calvin Klein person. Not my thing. But I do feel secure enough in that one that I think it'll do okay. This I just learned about. This, I think it was Kaylee Elaine who said it, that the Talbots dresses with the cities on them can do okay so i got one <laughs> and try it out see what it does it's cute it's a cute little fit, fit and player dress knee length very cute dress perfect for the season too right and it had a tie the front on it told you i'm terrible about that gotta get better at that it's a size four so a smaller size oh i did not see that oh my $14.99. Oh, we that's too too much. I would not have paid that. Look at that. They're watching out for Talbots at this store. It says Talbots Apparel on it. Now that I know that, I probably won't pick up Talbots from there. They're actually actively looking and pricing up Talbots. That's what that means. Huh. That's interesting. Note to sell. So now I wonder how much I paid for this Talbot shirt that's up next. This is not the Talbot shirt. This is something very weird too. <laughs> it was one of those weird days. What can I say? Guess I decided to pick up all the weird things. It's kind of my thing. Okay, this one's so weird. And I did look this up. And the comps are terrible. <laughs> I got it anyway because I just liked it. It was $6.99. It is a Jennifer Real design, which is nobody special, but this is like really good quality. And somebody quirky was that dropped all their stuff off at this store. <laughs> Look how cute this is. It's like the little apple print. I feel like there's a teacher out there who teaches like science or something who needs to shop my store next week when I get all this stuff listed because I've got some cute quirky things that Definitely needs to go to a teacher. Somebody can dress up as the lady from the Magic School Bus. Okay, I think this is Talbot's too. I couldn't pass this one up. I love this print on this. This is Talbot's. And it's a 1X. And it was linen. Was it linen? Kind of feels like linen. 100% linen. Talbot's. 1X. Got all the good things going here. And it's a beautiful print. Beautiful print. Look at that shirt. Very pretty. So I think this will do just fine. Let's see the prices. Four ninety nine. So not that one. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. I will be more careful though, and make sure I'm not picking up Talbots for fifteen bucks because I definitely would not have done that. That's crazy. Here's two shirts for me. I have to show y'all this one because it may. I'm not. I have no idea what this means at all but it kind of made me laugh. It was $3.99 and it made me laugh. So I bought it. So it's all washed up and it's a skeleton dude on a flamingo float. I don't know why he is. I have no idea. I should do like a lens check and see what in the world this means. I don't care because he made me laugh. And you know, things make me laugh. I buy them kind of what I do. And this is a J. Jill Pont shirt. This is also for me, just because I love J. Jill. Uh, this thing looks big. Mm, I'm going to try that on. If that's big, I could wear it as a pajama shirt. I don't know. $4.99 though, so super comfy shirt. Yeah, I'm going to try that on. It might be too big. If, if it's too big and I don't want to keep it, I'll just sell it. And if it sells for 20 bucks, it's fine. It's whatever. I just get my money back because the other day, it's just not that big of a deal. That's why I love shopping at thrift stores. 
Ufos, you need a good cleanup. I need to get some shoes listed. They, they actually had a couple pairs of shoes I wanted to get, but they had them priced way too high, so I didn't get them. These were $5.99, though, so good good price for Ufos. They don't know that brand, evidently. Um, I don't know what these sell for, but I'm sure they sell well. Ufos are pretty popular. I have a pair of Ufos sitting over there. I haven't listed, too. They had a big, huge bin of shoes. <laughs> I went through the whole thing, and that's the only pair of shoes I came back with. They also had a bunch of nice shoes up at the door. They have been pricing a lot of their shoes up lately. They had two pairs of the Liberty Black booties, which can sell for a lot of money, for $50 a pair. <laughs> I was like, uh, no. No, ma'am. We're not doing that. This one I looked up, and comps around 30 bucks, which is, you know, where I want to be. It's fine. But I looked it up because they were just different, and I'd never heard of the brand. It's a men's pair of pants, $9.99, new with tags, obviously. They are vintage jeans black, and they're this weird terry cloth um, material. Very weird. What's it called? It says it on here somewhere. Now I can't find it. Where is it at? There it is. French terry denim. That's what it's called. So it's like this super stretchy material. And if these were like my husband's size or my son's size, I would let them have them because they're very full. And they look super, super comfortable. But like I said, I looked them up, $30. I'll get $30 for them, so I'm happy. Perfectly fine with that. <sighs> it's hot in here. Almost done, y'all. Quick, it's a quick call. Another pair of can cans got these because they're maternity jeans. I don't ever see can can maternity. And I didn't look them up, but my assumption is they do well. And I'm probably right. $8.99 for those. And you know, they have some detail on them too. Probably if they would have been plain can can maternity, I probably would have left them, honestly. But, you know, maternity stuff, you can get pretty good money for usually. Not a ton, obviously, but you can. Another Talbot's. Let's see if this one got priced up. I don't think it did. This is so cute. I like this one. It didn't. Four ninety nine. It's a Talbot's. Six petite. Is that the front or the back? Anyway, look how cute. Isn't that cute? Love this print on this skirt. So had to get it. <laughs> And I'm okay with Talbots. I like Talbots a lot. So I saw a really, really cute right next to this. A really cute um, Banana Republic sweater. But it's rare to find a Banana Republic sweater that's going to sell for $30 on the used market. It had like giraffes on it. It's really cute. And I looked it up. And, you know, it did not sell for much. It made me sad. I wanted to bring home the Banana Republic giraffe sweater. It's cute. This is the pair of pants I should have left behind. It's just dumb. I don't know what's wrong with me. Size 16, new with tags, good American. All great things, right? This price. I don't even want to say it. <laughs> I don't even want to say how much I paid for it. $30 is way too much. Shame on me. And I know Good American doesn't do all that well anymore. I do like the size. And when I'm shopping at these stores, y'all know I do um, averages and all that good stuff. But at $30, that average is still a little too high because you're putting me at $8. And I don't really care for that. <sighs> oh, well. At this point, there's not much we can do about that now, is there? And then this is the bench shirt. I got this because it's silk. That's the only reason I got it. And the size was good, wasn't it? No, it's just a medium. Nothing special. It looks oversized, though. $4.99 for a bench silk shirt. We went with it just to see what happens. I like the color. Nice champagne color. I think it'll do okay. Maybe. This one might have been a mistake, too. This one will get sold six months from now for $10. <laughs> or not <laughs> who knows last item nothing special it is Athleta Skyline, Skyline Pant 2 
which I've sold before, so I know these do well. They sell fast. This one actually has the tie with it. The last one didn't have the tie, and they still sold fast. These will sell for thirty. Five ninety nine. Terrible size. Zero zero, but they'll still sell. It doesn't it really doesn't matter that much on these? What is my time? They are from spring twenty one. It's not bad. Not too old. And the color's pretty. Nice beautiful little rose color. So it'll probably take a little bit longer for these to sell. This will probably be like a month and a half, two months, whereas usually they'll sell within a week or two. So nice buying if that happens. I just sold a pair of those very recently. All right, that's it. That's my big old haul for the day. And it's not that exciting. I thought it was more exciting. At least I got Lily. I got Lulu. No Spanx. I haven't got Spanx in a while. Usually, I usually find Spanx, but I did find some peach shades, so. And I did find a pterodactyl dress. <laughs> and an apple jacket thing. Some weird finds this week. Okay, y'all. I will see you tomorrow. Come to my What Souls video tomorrow. Goodbye.